when you have a zebra in your yard. You just have to laugh because the first thing people will say is, is that a zebra? And we're like, yeah. She's just like the quintessential nanny. Her maternal instinct is amazing. When we got her, she went right to our cows. And we were cattle ranch at the time, so when- She would just when, take to any of the calves that came along and right. run them. We're not sure if she thinks she's cow or what. She's just a watchdog. Right. She's never not aware. Early on, they'll put their calf somewhere and the calf will lay there and go to sleep and the moms will move on, though they always know where their calf is. But Mystery would not move on with the herd. She would always stay. We would know wherever Mystery was standing, that is where the calf would be. Even if the calves would stray too far from the herd, Mystery would go and kind of round them up and buck and kick and drive them back to the moms. Female cows always look after one another's calves and she is one with all of them. It's truly amazing. Mystery's actually tamed down a lot since we've had her, but she was very, very wild. The gentleman that had her. He was developing an exotic type drive through petting zoo. She was probably a little too wild for what he had in mind. So the easiest way to get back your initial investment in an exotic animal is to sell them to a canned hunt. They're there for someone to pay a substantial amount of money and shoot. We just couldn't let that happen. It's pretty eye-opening. We had no idea prior to, you know, we learned from mystery. We still were a ranch at that right. time. She started our whole transition because the more and more research we did, the more and more we realized how absolutely uninformed we really were. We thought we were doing the right thing by raising animals and providing them a great life up until the point that they were, you know, consumed. We just couldn't do it anymore after that. We actually went and bought back cows we had sold a while back. They thrive in a herd, you know, they're not solitary animals. Yeah. She doesn't want to be by herself, ever. Yeah, she does. She wants company. It's really interesting that she can cohabitate with everybody from the turkeys to the goats. Our dogs are around, the cats are around. And you know, we have the ostrich, you name it. Mystery, she was a real eye opener. 